into the skinny. We start with an interesting piece of news. The New York mayoral race happened yesterday, and uh, Anthony Weiner, who has been in the news, did not win the primary, so he is out came of the race dead completely. Last. He came in yes. dead last. Dead last. So he is out of the primary, but there was some potential fireworks that happened at the very tail end of uh, his night. So his. Uh, I don't know what we would call his sexting partner, Sydney Leathers. One of them. One of them. The most infamous of them. That one, there she is, the most attractive of them all. She showed up and crashed one of his parties, the party where he was expected to be, not like one of the many parties in the city. In other words, she, she wasn't was invited. Gonna be there. She was, she was there not to, invited. For scandal factor. Mm, absolutely. This happened in Midtown Manhattan. So camera's rolling. She's asked, why are you here? And she says, I felt obligated after being involved in this situation. And then she's asked whether or not she she thinks that he should be mayor, and this is what she had to say. Um, you know, I was shocked that he was so high in the polls before the scandal happened. Yeah, it was shocking to me, knowing the type of person he is. I wouldn't want him to be mayor of my small town of Florida. She was shocked. She was shocked. Uh, Wiener showed up late. He had to go in through a McDonald's entrance that's neighboring to where he was supposed to be uh, to avoid this woman. They never actually came uh, in contact with each other. And there he is giving his concessions. I don't know who's worse. I don't know which one of those two is worse. Ugh. All right. Let's talk about a doozy of a big secret. The talk, uh, the talk's big secret segment yesterday. Yes. Sharon Osbourne. Uh, Spilling the beans. Yeah. She let, let's go a doozy that long ago she just knew Ozzy but wasn't dating him yet mm -hmm. and wasn't married Friends. to him. She had a flingy wingy with a certain Jay Leno. Listen to how oh. she revealed it. And that man, that man that I had a flingy wingy with was Jay Leno. Oh. <laughs> You should wonder how Jay Leno's feeling this morning. The cat's out of the bag. Uh, they, it was apparently it was just uh, you know little quick little hookup as she's put it. And a couple of months into it, he brought around his real girlfriend, the love of his life. Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't know if it was a, you know whatever. Uh, no scandal there. But essentially, they became friends and they stayed friends for the rest of the time. And that was That's before she was hot and heavy with Oz. And before he got married as well. So yeah. this was on the up and up. They were both single and they had a little flingy wingy. Nothing wrong with that. Very Not wrong cool. With flingy wingy. Yeah, I suppose. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. Here's some cool stuff. Tom Hanks is apparently a juror in a domestic domestic violence. Um, oh, cool I, I want to be on that jury. In a case, I think everybody wants to be on this jury. So this is a legitimate case. It's, it's a criminal case. He is serving on this jury. The guy is allegedly struck his girlfriend and he's facing a year in prison. That's the maximum conviction. It's a misdemeanor. Well, Tom Hanks was there with other jurors. He was interacting with other jurors, laughing at their jokes, taking copious notes as the attorneys, uh, you know, kind of went through everything that was going on. And he is taking this very seriously. Seriously, he will be back in court tomorrow. This is all according to TMZ. They broke the story. Yeah. And this is also in Los Angeles. So you can't go looking at every courtroom in New York City in case you're hoping to spot I Tom Hanks. I want to hang out with Tom Hanks for a little while. That yeah, sounds pretty cool. why not? All right, quickly. It seems Demi and Ashton, they're not back together, but at least they seem rather friendly. Apparently uh, they were seen uh, walking and talking and looking kind of cordial and amiable in the uh, Burbank airport. This is according to TMZ. You know, and the divorce uh, being a bit uh, contentious, uh, now it looks like they're at least talking. Nice.